your desire? Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Kill him. He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill the. You came to kill me? <laughs> I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! <laughs> money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. It wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know how you can find the one who does. Never found out. Got the feeling the man I spoke to was doing someone else's bidding, too. I have some directions written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denrin. Yeah. It's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. Don't worry. I'll not trouble you no more. It's Marjolaine. It has to be. Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. She needs to answer for what she's done to me. If we are ever in Denrim, I would like to seek her out. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good.
Fenrin. If we have time, I would like to look for Marjolaine. We have a score to settle. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his gift and turned it against his. Those stung with a hundred arrows, those suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong and he moved on. We shall be named Malificar, a curse of ours. They shall find no rest in this world or the end. It shall be done. can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright oh my pardon just thinking aloud are you here for the chanter's board i am sister justine curator of the reliquary of this chantry <laughs> pride again it is hard to live up to the example of andraste The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. My thought exactly, but I'm perpetually amazed at how quickly people accept fantastic claims at face value. A hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlais, I thought that false relics slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the Maker. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. Of course, enjoy your visit to the Chantry. As there is but one world, one life, one death, there is but one God, and He is our Maker. They are sinners who have given their love. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Anna? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. 
I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <sighs> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some servant of his to carry all his riches, I expect. Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Well, so he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy, except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. <sighs> I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But... Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I... I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I... I feel like a complete idiot. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Good day. The market is busy, is it not? Come, rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For a lady friend, perhaps? Roses can open any woman's heart, you know. And smelling good is not. Feral Den is no longer full of barbarians. People judge with their noses as well as their ears and eyes. But you look more... armed than most of my patrons. Perhaps you seek the arm of Smith, Wade, then to the south? He is quite the artiste, yes. What is it? I have work to do. All right. I recognize you from Ostagar, and trust his blood. You're a Grey Warden. 
Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend, and good King Kaelin. I demand satisfaction, sir. So you would compound slander on top of treason? You dare smear Terran Logain's word? The savior of Ferelden, Terran Logain, personally told me of the Warden's betrayal. Your betrayal. An uncommon traitor deserves no common death. We will meet on the field of honor and my blade shall see justice done. Meet me in the back alley behind the Nord Noble Tavern. There we will duel. Make peace with the Maker, sir. These are your last moments. You here to report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? The lower market isn't deemed important by the Captain of the Guard, even less with Al Howe in charge. So when I finally get the new men I request, I get the delightful surprise of discovering their Lord such and such as illegitimate, untrained, moronic whelps. But Lords keep sending me more of them. It's decent pay, no expectations, a uniform. So I have a legion of bastards to protect the market from pickpockets, stabbings, and whatnot. And all how specially picked men are the worst of the lot. With the bastards, I just have to worry about dicing the odd bit of drool or yelling at them too loudly and hurting their poor feelings, and then getting chewed out by their noble fathers. But I swear, the Arl's men are more criminal than the miscreants we occasionally arrest. Some of them are the criminals we have to arrest. So if your lifeblood isn't draining in the gutters as we speak, don't bother reporting it. <laughs> what? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular, uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get, maker forbid, hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a guard is actually dangerous. The name of the whorehouse is the Pearl. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said beat down, not kill. Let me make that really clear. Not on fire, or exploded, or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry. Used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. 